This produce stand, Oxford Fruit, has been at this corner in Kensington Market for 25 years. Before that, it was another fruit stand and has been a fruit stand since the 1930s. But when their lease is up at the end of March, Oxford Fruit will be closing its doors and it's not clear what retailer will take its place. But it's unlikely to be another fruit stand, they, which seem to be casualties in this community's ever-changing shopping landscape. I really wanted them to stay. But it's, it is a tough situation, like space is limited around here. The owners of the building at the corner of Augusta and Nassau operate a fruit wholesaling business behind the store and say they need to expand to make more room for themselves. Oxford Fruit would have to reduce their square footage by almost half. Not enough space to run their business, and that's why they're closing. So this was not a case of a powerful landlord jacking up the rent and forcing the little guy out. Although that certainly happens all the time in Kensington as more and more high-end shops come in. Big time change. Yes. Big time. Like, I remember 30 years ago when we walked in here, it looked like a town, like a countryside market. Now it's like a big names I'm seeing in here, which is, it's, it's difficult for us. Amir Mokdad has owned Burgernator on Augusta for seven years. He's paying $6,200 a month in rent and is worried when the time comes to renew his lease. The rent's going up like big time. Are you, you thought, nervous about your own rent? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm coming up soon too. Oh, are you? Yeah. I don't know if we can afford it or not. The 10 square blocks that make up Kensington have been a bustling open-air market since the late 1800s. It started with Irish and Scottish immigrants, became a Jewish market in the 1920s, and has gradually become more and more diverse, with an eclectic mix of vintage clothes, cheese and butcher shops, bakeries, restaurants. But not too long ago, there was a fruit stand on every corner. Today, almost all of them are closed. I counted two, with one set to shut its doors. And that's because people don't come here to do their weekly grocery shop anymore. Jason Amaro says it's more of a tourist attraction. A lot of the older businesses around here are, are changing. You know, they have to change. You know, it's hard to sell linens and, and clothing and grocery items. You might right. get a few potatoes, an avocado, a right. piece of lettuce. You know, you can't make money when your average ticket is 10 or 15 bucks. Right. That's why my dad got out of retail. The rent is outrageous. But it's not all bad. Singer-songwriter Molly Johnson has been connected to Kensington for decades. And while she realizes this is not a low-income neighborhood anymore, she feels Kensington will always be true to its roots. There's lots of new businesses starting in the market from immigrants coming to, coming to the market and starting their lives here. Now, the owners of Oxford Fruit did not want to speak on camera today, but did say the landlords are treating them fairly and they have nothing against them. As for skyrocketing rents, Mike Layton, Councillor Mike Layton said today that they have no control over that, but they have requested that the province in state commercial property tax rent control to protect small businesses here and across the city.